Once in a while, you'll find a book or story that stuns you and its scope will leave you breathless. This is such a story recounted over a decade in a series of videos taken on location by Reality Ghost. We're presented with a brilliant, haunting and mystical world of the mountains, lakes and forests of the extreme northeast of the United States of America. A world full of unknown beings, UFOs and animate powers that are beyond our ordinary perception, but have profoundly influenced Reality Ghost's own physical reality. In the supreme adventure of his life, his Argano voyage, Reality Ghost has discovered strange life forms and objects in a dynamic, unseen physical borderland from which scientific attention has been largely diverted. The following videos are accounts of those adventures and findings, spoken as non-technically as possible, with plenty of hard facts, amazing scientific experiments and practical lore, so that any intelligent layman may follow him on his trails in the forests and mountains. Does Bigfoot or the Sasquatch really exist? Who are the elusive creatures and spirits that inhabit the mountains, forests, woods and lakes? And are they as real as you and I? Where do they come from? How long have they been living amongst us? And why are they here? How are the hidden meanings on the forest floor, on the trees, the branches, rocks and boulders deciphered into our language? These are some of the questions that Reality Ghost has been trying to solve over 20 years with his unique blending of a sense of freedom from all limitations, a capacity for tenderness, deep concern for animals, the environment and even love. He shows and describes in great depth his world and kingdom of the elusive creatures, Sasquatch and the woods people are as real to him as human beings. Forced to work mainly on his own simply because he was rejected as too far out, even with the UFO field, aided by only a few faithful companions, financing everything personally and at every stage breaking new theoretical and experimental ground, his research and project have been relentlessly demanding. Inadequacies accordingly exist in his work that would be easily rectifiable with resources, time and assistance. Further delay in disseminating what has been learned nevertheless cannot be justified on that account. The discharge of this work without obligation to any outside source on this earth is offered as a compensating factor. Today's truth is that the Bigfoot and UFOs are so staggeringly vast and complex as to defy full elucidation at this time. Studies by naturalists and scientists all support the view that these beings are in fact not only real but crucial transformers and manipulators of primordial energies within the natural world. Experienced most by people and societies closest to nature these beings inhabit countless myths, legends and religions all over the world. Reality Ghost explains that he has spent a lot of time in the forests and feels at home when he's far away from human involvement. His story begins about 20 years ago when he became aware that he was not the only one in the forest. A game began where he would move objects around and then return to find them elsewhere in the forest. Over time, it graduated to where he was given things, of which one was a deer skin. Then years later, he discovered a pile of white hair or fur. He told a friend about the discoveries, who suggested that it was a Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Reality Ghost was interested, but not convinced. So he returned to the pile of hair and it had vanished. Now he spends all his time in pursuit of the woods people, as he calls them. He doesn't know why this has been happening and would gladly give up his quest if it had stopped. However, each and every time he ventured into the forest, he was confronted with more mysteries. He explains that he has not met the beings that are playing with him and does not know if they are Sasquatch or Bigfoot. He realizes 
but it's a possibility that they don't look like the preconceived vision of what most of us are conditioned to believe in. What if nature is weirder than we can possibly imagine? His reason for continuing in the quest is a deep longing to know the truth and whether or not the beings are trying to communicate with him, and if so, why? From his belief that they are trying to communicate comes his own wish to actually meet them. There is far more to the story, but until he can prove everything, he will keep it quiet. And so his exploration is also one of self-exploration. For most of us, it is a very short journey. For sheer timidity and lack of originality, we will not leave the beaten track. But with Reality Ghost's Argono voyage, it is this interior wandering. It seems that he will not be bringing home his treasure and dividing it among the stay-at-homes or those who only travel by car and by their timetable. He can only say to them, that's the way over there. You can't see by me. You have to see for yourselves.